Hello, my name is Darren Thomas and I'm the Director of Educational Research Techniques. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to make Select the Missing Word questions for Moodle quizzes, of course, inside Moodle. And if you've watched prior videos before, you're familiar with the beginning of our videos where I'm already logged into Moodle. And the first thing, of course, I need to do is I need to go to the question bank, which if you're using the default theme with Moodle, it'll be off to the right hand side under the uh, administration tab or administration box and you just click right here on the question bank and of course we need to create create a new question or click on create a new question these down here are, are questions that I've made in prior videos and so we're going to click right here on create a new question and we're looking at select a missing word so select a missing word basically you make a sentence or a paragraph and you will have places where a student has to select the appropriate word to complete the sentence um, we've kind of done something similar to this in the past with the closed questions if you again if you watch prior videos but this is just a slightly different way to do a familiar type of, of assessment so we're going to click add once we select select missing words and we're going to go right here okay so first you know we have here question name then the question text this is where you put the actual question you're going to create and the name of course is up here and then how many points you want it to be worth and then down here you put your choices I'll explain this more in a second and then you know combine feedback you know for how they're doing again um, you know for correct answers or for partially correct answers or for any incorrect response you can add that if you so desire and also you know penalty for multiple tries and tagging for the sake of organizing your um, different questions so let's go back up here to the top. First, I need to give my question a name. So select the, the missing word example. All right. And then after that, I need to put in my questions. So I already made up some questions, so I'm going to paste them in right here. So here are my questions, and I'm going to explain this in a second. Now, no, look carefully. I have two questions here, or two sentences that need completion. The first one goes, when you go to a website like Facebook, you have to, and then I put double brackets one. I will explain the double brackets in a second. The second sentence goes as follows. If you study computer science, then you will learn to, and then of course I had double brackets two. Now, the thing I need to explain now is what does the double brackets mean? The double brackets represents, if you look down here, your choices. So, I have two choices. I have a one up here, and I have a two. So this means that Moodle is going to look at my answer for choice one. For the double brackets for choice one, the answer will be here. And of course, um, you have to log in. That's the answer. When you go to Facebook, you have to log in. And for double bracket number two, if you study computer science, then you will learn to, I'm going to put here the answer is code. So Moodle knows that double bracket one, or choice one, is the correct answer for the first empty space. And then Choice number two is the is the answer that Moodle will look for in the second space in the double bracket number two. But of course, you also have to put distractors because you know that's how assessment works. So you know I can make up something like dance, or um, another one I might be is like um, you know uh, dance and you know maybe you know, swim. We'll just do something silly like that um, as my two distractor ones. So I have dance and swim are my distractors login and code are the correct answers again let's not get stuck on whether or not this makes sense let's just focus on the uh, educational aspect of the video now another interesting thing that I will show you in a second is the grouping um, for the grouping it'll group together your choices so that only certain choices appear together in the sentences and I will show you that in a second for right now we're gonna put everything in the same group we're going to look at the example as, as it is completed and then I will come back and show you how the grouping affects things. So now that we're pretty much done, I think everything is, is already set up here. We can click Save Changes and we can take a look at it. So it's right here. If I click on the preview button, which is the magnifying glass, you can see right here. When you go to a website like Facebook, you have to log in. You can see all four choices are here. Now, when I go back in, I do the grouping, and I put a group under group two, whatever I put in group one will appear together, and whatever I put in group two will appear together. 
And then again, here's my second question right here. And so the student will just select the answer and they're done. Not that difficult. Now let me just show you the how it works when you use the grouping. The grouping just combines answers together that you want to appear together. So instead of the students seeing all four of my choices, they only see a certain number of choices per group. So I want login and dance to be in group one. And I also want code and swim to be in group two. So now when we go back and look at the question as it appears on the quiz, well, what happened is that for choice one or in group one, the student will have um, only the two choices and then uh, which will be login and dance hopefully and then for choice number two they will only have the two choices code and swim let's see if this works correctly hopefully okay so you can see right here login and dance and you can see right here code and swim so that's the benefit of having the grouping it reduces the, the number of choices a student has per individual blank answer which of course is a scaffolding technique and also depending on the goals of your assessment can help it to, to steer and focus the students to go in the right direction. So there you have it. In this video we learned how to make a select the missing word question for Moodle. Uh, I showed you a little bit about the coding behind it. You have to use the double brackets and put the number inside the double brackets to represent each individual choice, how to make the distractors, and also the grouping feature that is also available. So I hope that this video was useful for you. Uh, thank you and take care.